uh, Dream and Reality. This was uh, in contention to be called Dreams and Realities, but I, w I went with Dream and Reality in the end. That's uh, the name of the first uh, the first chapter. It's in... because there's no yeah in, in Bakuman yeah. the manga. The reason I went with it is because in J in Japanese there aren't plurals. So it was oh, really? dream. Uh, yeah, that's that. part of the language. So uh, it was dream and reality. That was like the lit translation. But then the actual like official translation was dreams and realities because that's what they meant. But I thought it's better. I like, to... I like how it starts with just the synth and it kind of builds up into the yeah. Well, I just wanted everyone to coming at the same time. I always write songs in mind mm. for how it would feel live when I write anyway. And for this one, I thought it'd be really cool. How about we have a song where? It has this like very you know known um, mel melody from the synth. That's very very you know, and as soon as it comes in, everyone's like, "Oh, it's dream reality!" Immediately, and there's no you know, and we don't have to do anything. We just have to stand on stage and kind of hype up the crowd before we all start playing. And that's kind of how I wrote it. And I hope that's what it how it works live. I think it does. Well, it's become it's, just it's become a, such a staple live. It's a lot like, of fun to play live. It's, it's so become much. a real big live. Like, yeah, we do it every gig now, and we didn't. I, I, didn't I, wasn't, that was I wasn't really sure. I thought it might maybe sit on the album, maybe because because it was, you know, written like I say properly. I guess maybe finally on the day that I was actually recording it. Mm. I wrote the night before. Yeah, I came in. I came into the studio like very late the night before to finish the guides for Leo. In fact, it wasn't even. I think we'd even started. I th I, I think we did like because we did the drums over what was it two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. And we did sorry. like. And we did it in two blocks as well. So we did one week and then we had a break. It was definitely in the second week. That and we it was it. in the second block, which was like, there was like almost a two week gap between them. And it was the last day of doing, the, because we, the way we record drums, if you've seen, you know, you've seen, if you've seen the videos, you'll know anyway, but we record the drums with fake pad cymbals. So, and then we re-record it again with fake drum skins so that you can, you get a separation between the cymbals and the, the sort of like, you know, the actual meat of the kit. And I literally was hitting the last day, wasn't I, for this yeah. one? This was the last thing that came together came before in, we recorded it. Um, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do, how to do it. I wasn't really sure about the song as a whole, but like... No one no one really heard it until, other than me, until we yeah. tracked it. Yeah. But it is, it's a really fun song to play live, like Katie says. Like, it's, it's quite nice as well, because usually we tend to go from vectors into that so it's a nice little synth break mm. where it's like I have to panic, press some buttons and then I can just chill out for a little bit and it's quite relaxing. <laughs> As yeah, well, I, I get, you get to tune, tune. yeah. Because this song I play in Drop D which is part of a workaround to actually get it to work because I was following the synth. Yeah. I'm trying to write the guitar part to match the synth. It has to, uh, I have to compensate for like certain shapes not being very accessible because they've been written on synth first. Which is part of the reason I was a bit anxious about gigging this song as well. But, it's, but since we've done it so much now, it's become a staple and I really enjoy it now, actually. Um, it's good, it these, these hits are amazing, I yeah. love this sort of... We've I love that idea, like... We've changed it live as well, like there's the little break at the start um, that we tend to do now, which is a nice little drop, mm -hmm. like and a kind of a little crowd moment. This last, yeah, this last chorus is kind of interesting as well because we've taken, we've changed the chords. Yeah, um, it's got the like a chorus, and then, like a, then we bring it back in afterwards. But. Yeah, this little walk down now, yeah. It's definitely come out. It's definitely come out a lot better than what I was originally kind yeah. of. I guess had in my mind when you when I was do, listening to the guide, you know, jibber jabber and uh, <laughs> so I jokes instruments. No, this is great. It's a good song. I'm really pleased how it came out. 